Hey guys! All right, so let's get into this awesome video. So, if you watched my previous video, and if you have not, go ahead and watch that, the previous lock video, so you can just kind of get an intro to what I'm talking about. Um, if you have, let's get into it. So, about two weeks ago, I put some starter locks in my hair, and it has been very interesting <laughs> to say the least. Uh, my hair is definitely starting to frizz. That's number one. Um, this week, my hair definitely frizzed up. Actually, rewind. And I say that a lot. Um, first week, I my scalp just really started to itch. And I know they say, hey, you know, once you put your starter locks in, whether it's comb coils or two-strand twist, don't wash your hair for at least three weeks. But no, my scalp was so itchy so i kind of caved in and washed my hair um the there was about there but and my hair is very interesting here i'll take off my beanie my hair is let me fluff myself up a little bit um but my hair is super interesting because my hair in the back i have 4c hair but the hair in the back i really do believe is about 4a or even 3c it's very silky um and those kind of unraveled about three of them so i just kind of twisted them back up and put little plaits at the bottom i'm not even sure if that's a good idea because i'm pretty much doing this on a whim i did these two strand twists in my hair by myself i have about 110 of them in there and i was going for more of a medium to thick no me small to medium locks so i don't want really thick locks but i also don't want tiny locks either so i was going for a small to medium kind of locks so that's kind of what i've been experiencing in terms of the first two weeks now the second week like i said earlier i definitely noticed a lot of frizz in my hair which is normal i read on youtube i've watched youtube videos and i've read on google that it's normal so google's right um, and I haven't really really using a lot of products on my hair. My cousin's actually um, locking her hair too So we're kind of in this journey together and I'm just asking her questions Looking on YouTube figuring out what has worked for other people and kind of just arrow trial and error at this point So in terms of the products I'm using on my hair, I'm not really using a lot of products So the first thing that I have been using is this little handy dandy spray bottle. I got this spray bottle from the I think Dollar Tree um, and in here, I have some um, purified water. I have rose water. Oh, I don't have that with me. But I'll put I'll put the description of the rose water on the bottom. But I have, so half of it is purified water and the other half is rose water. And I also put in there some leave-in conditioner from Miss Jessie. And I put like literally maybe... A tablespoon maybe not not more than a tablespoon and I just and I also put tea tree a couple of drops of tea tree essential oil in here and I just kind of mix that up and literally all I do is I just mist my hair and that's it every morning I mist my hair with this I sleep with a satin bonnet and I know most people know what a satin bonnet is and mine's kind of dingy so don't judge me but this is my satin bonnet and I, I try to sleep with a satin bonnet every single night. And I actually have faithfully, since I started, I've been sleeping with a satin bonnet. So that's kind of what my daily my daily um, process looks like or my daily routine. That's what it looks like. I just wake up, I have my bath, do all that other fun stuff. And then I spritz my hair and style it. And most times I'm just wearing it down in my face. Now in terms of the weekly process is I use this oil that I made. Um, inside this oil, I have half of it is uh, like a quarter, about that much of it, if you can see it, about that much of it is almond oil, and then there is olive oil in here, and then the rest is castor oil, Jamaican castor oil. Also, I have some fresh, if you look at it, there's some particles in there, so that's fresh rose, um, dried rosemary. I also have a few drops of lemongrass and a few drops of lavender oil, a few drops of peppermint, and there's one more, and rosemary, a few drops of rosemary essential oil. And I do this twice a week, and I kind of eyeball it as well. And it's, it's not been that long, so I don't know if I can necessarily give you 
an awesome review on it um so because i haven't been using it that long but i do it twice a week or i eyeball it if my hair start if my scalp starts to feel a little itchy i'll put a little bit of oil on my scalp uh, my plan moving forward is to honestly wait till sometime in april to actually wash my hair i may not last that long but i'm thinking around april 6th so in about two weeks i plan on washing my hair and i can give you kind of a video or you guys can tell me what you want to see or what you want to hear um but um my plan is to do a video on what products i use to wash my hair review them kind of talk about my experience as well so that's kind of all I have today. If you guys want to see more content or if you have any questions about my experience so far, I'm literally probably like a newborn in this journey, so I don't have much to say. <laughs> um, but if you have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe here. Let's use this um, channel as a forum. Um, my, I'm thinking of doing a series on like, um, I'm Nigerian, by the way, if you can figure that out with the spicy jollof locks name. I'm Nigerian, but that's, yeah, that's something other. But I want to do a video on just kind of my experiences and perceptions of people and what they think about Nigerians with locks. So look out for that video. Look out for more content from me. And I look forward to hanging out with you guys. So thank you and have an awesome day.